these squash down here about the right size for squash casserole. Real light yellow like that makes a good tender squash. You don't have to peel the hide off of it, just cut it up like it is. When they get a darker yellow, you gotta peel the hide off of it. When you pick one of these squashes, you just take it and you turn it in a circle and it'll come off. Just like that. This is the difference in the color of the squashes. That don't worry about the dark yellow. You'll probably have to skin it because the seeds inside will get a little tougher. The light yellow one on this side is a whole lot better eating than squash. You just cut it and slice it with the skin on it. So, And the seeds are pretty tender. Before you slice up your squash, you, you wash them, get all the mud and dirt off of them. Clean them off pretty good. Get them bloom ends off of it. Got a lot of dirt and stuff like that off the out of the garden on them. Wash them off real good. Now they're ready to slice up and get to cooking them. When you get ready to slice them up, you always get that green end off and that end right there. Then you'll go about, I'd say a half inch on each one and just slice them up. going to be pretty good. It's one of the favorite things I like out of the garden in the spring. That's going to be good on Father's Day. Depends on how big of a casserole you want to make, how many squash you cut up. My daughter is coming over tomorrow, so I'll make a pretty good size casserole. She take it home with her, need it. All during this week coming, so be pretty good. Be careful, these knives are sharp. This is my flay knife for catfish and stuff, and I try to keep it pretty well sharp. And Let me cut one more and we'll call it close enough. Yep, and I'll be plenty. Cover them with water, you can boil them and get them cooked, and when they get done, you can take a knife and just stick into them as tender. When it gets tender, when you put it in a casserole dish, you put your butter and cheese and crackers on them, salt and pepper, oh Lord, it'll be some good stuff. Get her cooking now. While you're cooking them on the stove to boil them, you put a little salt in too, go ahead and get them to start seasoning. Come to the bowl in a minute, and this we can turn it down a little bit. While I'm waiting on the squash to boil and get done, I'm going to take a stick of butter and grease up my baking dish. That way it won't stick to the pan too bad. Get it all covered by like that. Oh, yeah. It's going to take about three or four minutes to get the squash ready to put it in the baking dish. Oh yeah, they're getting done. I think I'll go ahead and get them strained out and get them in the baking dish. you got to be really careful with these pans because they're hot. It's got boiling water in them. I always take and turn the cold water on and run down the sink. 
while I pour the squash in the trailer. Yeah, them dread going casserole dish. I'll get them scattered out in the baking dish. But there for a few minutes, I'll go ahead and put the butter in the microwave and get it to melt. It's like mixed with my crackers. I like plenty of butter on my squash casserole. And I'll put two sticks. For casserole, you may want to do less, but I like butter. I'll get it melted and mix with crackers with it. While I'm waiting on my butter to melt, I'll go ahead and put a little pepper and salt on my squash. Whatever, how much you want. Too much, you can't take it out. You can always add more to it. I think about a half a cup of milk too. That way it don't dry out on you. Our butter's getting done. It's in there popping. Oh yeah. Looking good. When butter gets all melted up like that, I'll take it. Crumble up the this the crackers in it put on top of my casserole at this point I'll go ahead and turn the oven on I put it on about 400 and I'll do the crackers I'll just mash them up and put them in the butter It depends on how thick a crust you want on your casserole. But I use two sleeves of crackers to make a good crust on top of it. Once you get all the crackers in there, you stir it up and get them all soaked in butter. Good, that look. Yes, sir. Perfect Father's Day casserole. If you get them all soaked up good, that's when you sprinkle it on. But first, I got to put the cheese in. I'll take a handful of cheddar cheese. And that way it falls down in the cracks of the casserole. Just spread it out like that. I like cheese, so I'll put two handfuls. Oh yeah, look at that. Heck yeah. Then I'll take the cheese squares and I'll put them right on top. Just like that right there. You can add it or take away as much cheese as you like, but I like cheese. Yes, sir. It's going to be pretty good eating. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Then that's when you take your crackers and put on top of it. Yes, sir. You cook it as long as you want in the oven. I don't do it to where it burns my crackers, but when it starts turning them good and brown. Yeah, look at that. And that's going to be nice. Going to be nice. I put this in the oven. 
and we'll get her done about I'm gonna say 15 20 minutes it'll be done or just keep an eye on it when it stop top start turning brown take her out that's right, getting done I'm gonna get her on out of there and take a sample of it Boy, it looks good and it smells great I'm gonna give me a piece of it and give it a sample that's one thing about being the cook. You always get the sample of what you cook. Oh, yes sir, look at that. There's going to be some good eating right there. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. Looks good, don't it? Mr. Miss Quash, cheese. Or blow on it, because I know it's going to be hot. Wow, that's as good as I remember from last year. Man, I love fresh squash out of the garden. It ain't a real hard recipe to do. Go ahead and try some of this squash casserole. It's pretty good eating. Mm. Making a mess of myself. Mm.